Hey everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the channel. My name is Julie Salant. I am an empath. I'm a light worker, a star seed. I'm an animal communicator. I'm your resident unicorn and I'm here to help you find your gifts, learn how to use your gifts, get in alignment with what your mission is here on planet earth if you don't know it already and to make you more prosperous and healthy and have more abundance in your life. So thank you for being here. And at this channel, we use numerology. This is for master life path number 33. And if you don't know how to get your master number or your life path number, um, you need to just add up your birthday, the month, the day, and the year, add up those three numbers, and then bring it down to the lowest number possible. This is for master life path numbers 33. And if you're a master life path number, there's only a few of us, you know that we've been reincarnated quite often. We've had a lot of lives. And we are here to do something really amazing and huge on the planet, huge, right? So just before I start, thank you again for being here. I love each and every one of you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because we're growing the channel and the tribe is getting bigger, which I'm thrilled about. And also don't forget to um, go ahead and like what you see, but also comment on it because I try to respond to each and every one. Actually, I do respond to each and every one. So I'm here to help you. I'm here to support you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's do this. So I'm Master Life Path 11. Master Life Path numbers are very near and dear to my heart. In my humble opinion, we are one of the most misunderstood people on this planet. Um, I don't know what they're doing on the moon, but <laughs> just saying from here, if you're a Master Life Path number 11, 22, 33, you are different you process differently, you look at things differently, you react differently, right? And this is because if we both watch a movie or it's something on TV, what the other person sees, we don't see. And what they feel, we don't feel. It's almost like, I think of it like a pyramid, right? They're at the very top, right? They don't see anything of what's going on underneath, right? but we process all the way through to the bottom. And by the way, without us being through at all the way down to the bottom, you'd have no foundation. The problem is that a lot, and I do mean a lot of people in your life, including family members, including spouses, including sisters and brothers, they don't understand us, especially when we were little kids, right? Because we didn't have any tools. The parents didn't have any tools. So even as someone like myself who's very was very loved by both parents, um, great family, they didn't understand what to do with me a lot of the time because I was different. And as master life path numbers, we all need alone time, right? And that's because we process so differently and it takes a lot of energy, right? So whether it's conscious or subconscious, we're, this is just the way we're built. So I say all that today because you guys are the master teachers. You are here to teach the teachers. You are here to lead the leaders. We all are, but especially you guys. The 33s are the master teachers, okay? So your focus is on reaching the world and uplift, up, I can't talk, uplifting mankind's energy in a very loving way. Now think how, <laughs> think how difficult that is for a minute because you know, lifting up people's energy is hard lifting up your friend's energy, your mom's energy, your anybody that's close to you energy can be definitely daunting and a task. But if you think about uplifting, you know, people that you don't know their energy, that's a whole different can of, can of worms, right? To say, and what happens is a lot of times we get pushed back. So you're the, you're the one that's going to teach the teachers, lead the leaders, awesome. And then you go out into the world and you react as you would react, but other people around you act differently. And they feel very uncomfortable with you, with what you're able to do, which is being kind of a lie detector, going in, figuring out their innermost thoughts without them really unknowing or even asking. And you're trying to help them. And you're like, we're on the same team. This is just what I do. I'm just gifted this way. But there's always pushback. Always, always, always. Very rarely do we not push back. So how's that working out for you? <laughs> how are you moving in the world right now? Number one, I'm gonna write this down. So it's a question. How are you moving in the world, showing up, right? 
what's the reaction you get? Positive or negative? I'm going to say it could be either or. What happens to a lot of us is in the master numbers is that when this happens and people look at us and tell us you need to shut down, you need to change, what's wrong with you? And it can get pretty nasty, especially if you're younger, like a kid, we will shut down and then run away. And I'm laughing because it's actually painful because this is what a lot of us have done all our lives. Instead of saying, well, this is how I am. And this is how I was created. I am gifted. It's not so easy when you're 14 years old. And even when you're older, the master numbers have so much to contribute that we become people pleasers very easily to the point where it's a detriment to us, to the point where we start self-sabotaging, to the point where even if your parents are no longer here on planet earth, you are still, still trying to make them happy. You are still trying to make a sister, brother, spouse happy. You are still trying to show off or peacock or do whatever in front of your neighbors and you may not even know them. And it's a really sad thing, but we've all, a lot of us, especially the women watching, have grown up to do this. We put ourselves last, never first, never first. We fill in the gaps, right? Another, an example would be, let's see. I'm gonna just take emotionally because that's what we're talking about here. So let's just say that your father knows that the anniversary for your mother's death is coming up in a week. And you know this too, okay? This is a hard time for everyone. It's not a joke. Everyone really feels it even after all these years. But what happens is everyone else in the family just kind of is like nonchalant about it. Like whatever, I'll get a card or whatever. You on the other hand, know that it's coming and you know that your father's gonna have a very hard time with it. So what do you do? You specifically energetically prepare yourself to take on some of his negative energy without him knowing and to send him positive love and light so that he's balanced at all times. You also know that he'll, he won't eat. So you're gonna get everything prepared for him so that he will eat and have a good meal even amongst really difficult circumstances. So basically you're filling in the gap, if you will. This is something that we do all the time. Raise your hand if this sounds familiar, right? It can even be something as simple as I was thinking about in the kitchen, like um, say, we're, say I'm running low on peanut butter and my sister's like, um, yeah, I know that she's gonna peanut butter in two days on her bagel, right? Well, I will go to the store, get the peanut butter so that that morning when she wakes up and she needs that peanut butter, it's there automatically. She doesn't even think about it. But what did I do? I took time out. I went to go get the peanut butter. I brought it back. So I'm filling in the gap for her, right? So she never really notices that something was missing. So if you are running away because people, oh, people don't understand you. I just found two cards down here. I was shuffling the deck and I found two cards. That's different. Okay, we're going to have to go after those. Um, if you're running away energetically, how do you think that you will ever face any issues that you have, that you will face and be able to grow in the face of adversity, that you will bring what you're meant to bring to the world in its best form, right? How do you think that will happen? So, Here's the most important part. This all leads to anxiety. Hold on. So this will lead to anxiety, depression, um, you feeling as you are not in the right space because you're actually shutting down and running away versus really kind of being who you're supposed to be, which is showing your light into the world, okay? So my question to you is this, if this happens to you, what are you running away from? Are you running away from yourself? Are you running away from the feelings that you have? Are you running away from your um, responsibilities? What is it that you are running from? And how long has this been a pattern? And if it's been a pattern for a really long time, like it was with me, it's time to bring it up to look at it and to be like, you know what? 
this has to, this has to go. This isn't serving me anymore. So what would be a better way that you could move through the world, right? Like what would be an awesome way that empowers you instead of disempowering you, that allows you to move instead of staying stuck like a hermit? What would be some other action that you could take that would really help you to flourish instead of shut down? And this is not gonna be easy for all of you, but it's gonna be putting yourself first which is also under the umbrella of self-love because so many of you, including myself, we have devalued ourselves so much that we put other people in front of us on a regular basis and we haven't stopped since we were kids, right? This is why if your parents have already left the earth and you were trying to people please them when they were here, that you still are doing it today. This is why you have a job and that you know that Every other job you've had at the one-year mark or two-year mark, something happens and they find out that you're a fraud, you have imposter syndrome. And so you decide to start like doing things at work that aren't cool. Like you show up late or you aren't involved in your work or you just, because subconsciously, you know that you're supposed to, that you won't be there, right? So this is the pattern, right? It's happened. I hope you guys are getting this. This is important. This is something that was part of my life. So what I subconsciously thought was, you know what, if they're going to let me go anyways, why don't I just say, I'll just do it myself. Why don't I do that? Right? Because it'll be so worth it so that I don't hurt myself by others. I'll hurt myself myself, but <laughs> does that make sense, but not let others hurt me. So it becomes then a pattern. It becomes self-sabotage because we're always trying to people please. So again, I'm going to ask you, what are you running from? Like, is it a job? Is it your family? Is it the things that they said? Because sometimes people can say really hurtful things and we can just shut down. And it could take us quite a while to ramp up again. That's really difficult for us, really difficult, right? Because we feel very misunderstood because we are. Your job here on planet earth is to lead the leaders and teach the teachers. That means that you're the tip of the spear. That means that you're a badass. That means that you're a unicorn and a dragon combined if you wanna be, right? So like act accordingly. Let's stop putting ourselves in the back of the bus. Let's stop putting ourselves and devaluing ourselves for less than what we're worth. Let's stop letting other people cut in front of us like we're invisible. Hello, anybody? <laughs> and start shining. Let's do that as a collective. Because the more that we can do this, the better off we'll be. Because we, you, I have something that the world needs. We have gifts that other people don't have. And our job is to shine them into the world, right? It's huge, we've got to do it, all right? So I hope this helps. So please don't run away. Please start understanding yourself and the goal is that no matter what's happening around you, if you're in the eye of the storm, you're good. It's like everything can be falling apart. I'm fine in here, right? You got a bunch of cards and I didn't even look at them. These are from the animal totem cards. So let's see what they have to say. Uh, these, they always match up. The first one is the dove, be at peace. They're telling me, your ancestors are also telling me that so many of you are looking outside for your answers to your health, to your wealth, to your love, to your abundance, to your life changing. The answers are within, in your heart, not outside. You can see all the readers you want. You can read books, you can take courses, you can do anything you want, but ultimately the answers are in your heart. And I know a lot of people are afraid to look inward sometimes. That's why they say, oh, I can't meditate. It doesn't work for me. And I'm like, listen, if you're not meditating, you're, you're out of alignment, number one. You can't hear from spirit or your totem animals or your guides, and you're 50% less than what you should be in terms of your power. So to be at peace, meditate and think on the dove spirit and how gentle and soft they are. They're so beautiful, right? That's what you are. That's what you have inside of you. Koi fish. There's always enough. Some of you guys are operating in a very lack thought process, a very lack mindset. To be abundant 
have everything that you ever wanted. You have to have an abundant mindset, right? There's always enough in the universe for you. There's enough time. If I don't have enough time to do everything I need to do, what am I going to do? Like a top, running around like a top. You have plenty of time. The universe has all the time in the world for you. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough friends. I don't have enough this. I, don't, I can't do it. I guarantee you, if you're saying those things to yourself, well, number one is blocking everything that you want to happen. But number two, you are, let's take a look at, there are plenty of people in the world who have less than you, less money, less time, less friends, less, a, a worse environment, right? They might not even have a house, right? But they are able to do things and push forward. Why can't you? Why can't you? Gotta stay focused. One step at a time, focused, okay? Scarab, be your spirit, nice. Magic works through you, this is awesome. As you know, I'm a big fan. Egyptians always are very interesting to me. This is what the Egyptians, they always loved the scarabils. They were buried in them, on top of them. They um, brought them, helped them go to um, the, you know, the next universe, and to the next life as well. They're very, very magical. Magic works through you. If you are a master number, which you are, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that magic does work through you, within you and through you. That's why they just told me to look within for you. Look within. You are magical. There's not a lot of life path numbers. Let me just tell you, there's not. Oh my gosh. Next, you have owl spirit. You can see clearly now owls have some of the best eyes in the business, right? And this one's wearing a crown. Look into owl spirit and see where you are not seeing clearly. Is there a place where you're thinking self-sabotage subconsciously, I'm not good enough. I can't do that. I talk to myself terribly. I don't know how to fix that. That's a start. You can see clearly now everything that you need to change. Be gentle with yourself when doing so, okay? Next to that swan spirit, time for a deep dive. I just saw a swan today. There were two of them, big white swans. They're so beautiful. And every time I see them, I just stop and look. It's now time for a deep dive to go into yourself. So again, I'm getting the same messages third time. This is very important. A lot of you are looking outside of yourself to the answers. The answers are within your heart and your soul. Start meditating, right? Go up to the realms. Speak to spirit, speak to your archangels, speak to your totem animals, speak to your guides, which are basically your ancestors, and then bring them forward. Super simple. Ancestors, please come forward. Thank you so much. Be respectful. And then see who comes forward. Maybe it's your grandmother. Maybe it's your father, whoever it is. And then start the conversation. Thank you for being here. What messages do you have for me? Right? Frog, spirit, clear out the clutter. I'm also feeling like this is the clutter in your mind because you guys have so much going on up there. It's really difficult to think straight. So go to the gym, clear yourself out, meditate, right? Get rid of some of the stuff in your mind and clear it. And then spirit can come through and then you guys can come through, okay? Turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. We're about to have... Pretty soon next month, we're going to have Thanksgiving, right? And it's hard, I think, sometimes when I see how many turkeys die or whatever, but they also do it for the purpose, right? And we're thankful for that. People are thankful for you more than you know. Start being grateful yourself because gratitude, as you probably may or may not know, is the highest frequency we can have next to love but it gets us there the quickest. So if your gratitude is on point, so are you. So is everything coming towards you. Giraffe spirit, see the big picture. You know how tall, self-explanatory, you know how tall giraffes are, they're amazing. They can see everything for miles. What would change if you could see for miles? Use your third eye, not your human eyes, always as much as possible. What would happen? You'd see everything clearly, it'd be amazing. You wouldn't make mistakes, probably a lot less of them. You could strategize better, right? Think about your business. Think about where you work. Think about what you do. 
The more you can see down the line, the better off you are. And last but not least, coyote spirit. Trust in divine detours. First of all, I love coyotes. I um, actually hear them sometimes. They sound amazing. Trust in divine timing. Where are you not trusting? I, I'm thinking, I'm feeling your ancestors are telling me some of you are not trusting at all, like at all. You don't trust yourself. You don't trust your ancestors. You don't trust God. You don't trust spirit. You don't trust anything. If this is you, I would ask that you maybe reevaluate this. Because when you trust, just the roadway just lines up for you, right? All your steps are in alignment, right? When you trust in the divine, everything's working in your favor, whether you know it or not, including divine timing. And even if it's painful and you think something should be here now and it won't be until who knows when, divine timing is still in effect. So trust in divine timing and detours, right? When you do, you can see the big picture. You can see what other people can't see and bring in the gratitude that goes along with it, you will clear out the clutter. You will have a clear mind. And then you will be able to have your heart, your mind, and your soul all connected, which will make you unstoppable, right? You do this by taking a deep dive into your psyche and understand and pull out what's not working for you anymore. It's a good thing, right? Then you can see clearly, just like the owl, and you can shape shift the owl, and then the magic will work through you. This is awesome. I can't make this stuff up, guys. I didn't even, I can't make this up. And then magic will work through you, right? Because there's always enough in the spirit realm to give to you in this realm. Always enough. Always. And then you'll be at peace. I love how that just flowed. I don't make this stuff up. This is what spirit does. This is what God does. Your ancestors are telling me to tell you, you are so loved. You are so appreciated. You are so needed. Please don't give up. Please don't stop. We love you. All right, guys, I hope this helped you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And leave me comments. If you want to work with me, everything is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.